previously on Let's Play Fight Fantasy 15. Wonder what Gladio's up to right now. Meeting girls, probably. Son of a bitch! And now, the continuation. Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XV! Well, we finished everything that we can do in the main game itself, so let's check out the DLC episodes for each character. They're essentially games unto themselves, completely separate from the main game, though you can unlock certain rewards by completing each of these episodes to be used in the main game itself. And the controls are generally the same, like moving around and finding treasures, a mini-map, things like that. But the combat is very different in each of these since, well, you're controlling different characters. Now, I'll be going through these in the order of their release, except for the comrades, because, well, that's multiplayer content. So, let's find out what Gladio was doing in Chapter 7. I'll be returning to my normal video lengths for the character episodes since, well, they're very short. Uh, about a couple hours in length each, although Gladio's episode is a little short, shorter than the others. So, let's get started. Oh, and if you want to see, like, what this time attack or final trial stuff is, uh, let me know. I've never actually checked that out myself, but you unlock it after completing the episode. I think there's some achievements involved with them. Uh, I'm not specifically going for every achievement, but I'll do what I can as I go. So, yeah, we'll just go with the normal difficulty there. I don't think this is horrifically difficult. Though I generally prefer Noctis's combat compared to everyone else. Well, maybe putting in a couple hundred more hours into the game will make this more appealing. To me, anyway. Now, he better not have been uh, meeting girls. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> My pleasure. Especially not being cup noodles. Enjoy your time with the marshal. Mm -hmm. Oh, what were you doing? Hunt. Uh, so, uh, what's that thing on your face? Dirt. This. Oh, or that. X marks the spot. That's <laughs> just a scratch. The other guy got off a lot worse. <laughs> worse than looking like some kind of thug. Ha <laughs> ha. Speaking of which, who was this other guy? I assume not the marshal. They call him the Blade Master. Well, that's very creative. Nice sword you got there, though. But, uh,. Yeah, why don't we take a look at the combat tutorial for controlling Gladio. The combat for this is identical to switching control to Gladio. Like, if you got those uh, nodes or abilities unlocked to control someone else in the main game. So, let's see what we can do with these guys. So, let's see. The basic combat is mostly the same. You hold like R1 to lock on to a target there and then just hold the circle button to attack. Or you can hold the square button to block. But unlike with Noctis, you don't get a prompt to block other than, you know, what you're visually seeing from the enemies. So let's see if I can get enough enemies to attack me in the first place. Now, you see the blue bar beneath my... Well, that's my HP there. That indicates how long I can block. So, if I just hold it down all the time, eventually I will run out. 
of that gauge. And I won't be able to block. But yeah, as you're dealing damage, you also build up the Valor gauge to perform techniques or glaive arts. So you just press the triangle button and you execute the glaive art that way. See if I can... Now that guy's not going to attack me. I'm trying to attack these guys to get them, or to aggro them, but that doesn't seem to be working too well. Doesn't, nothing seems to be working too well, really. So yeah, there's also, you see in the lower right, the rage meter. Whenever you block an attack, it increases that and is a multiplier on your damage there. So yeah, as you're building being up the Valor Gauge, you can perform different techniques. So, there we go. Ha-ha! Okay, let's try Earth Shatter. So yeah, that hits all enemies around you. But yeah, generally with enemies... Oh, there we go. There's the Rage part of it. But yeah, generally with these small enemies like this, it's not really worthwhile to wait around forever for them to get around to attacking you. Just take them out and be done with it. Usually it's like bosses or tougher normal enemies where blocking would be more useful. And the glaive arts are generally useful against like large packs of enemies or bosses. Yeah, who do you think it is? <laughs> Catch you at a bad time. Are you here yet? Yeah, Does it look like? Crow's nest. Oh, Good. okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me. Sure. Where are we anyway? Are you ready to move out? Of course. <sighs> well, what about you? Are you mentally prepared? Why not? Of course. I'll be right over. So, where are you going, anyway? Or which crow's nest? About time. So, what do you need him here for, anyway? What'll it be? Just the water's fine. Thanks. Allow me to ask you once more. Are you sure you're ready to take on the Blade Master? Nope! I went up against the High Commander and got my ass handed to me. You did? I didn't stand a chance. He hit you I one time! Unless I get more power. Then answer my question. Are you ready or not? You think I would have called you here if I weren't? So you're ready to face death. We're doing that every day now! The awaits challengers in the deepest recesses of those ruins. What? It's been 30 years since we uncovered the caves. We've sent countless expeditions, but all of our efforts have afforded us no rewards. That's... And no survivors. Except for you. You undertook the trial, and you made it back alive. Evidently. Barely. I mean, you are immortal. So... Did you tell your friends why you were taking off? Just said it was business. Didn't want him getting all worried about me. Uh -huh. Or knowing your pride took a beating. <laughs> well, what do we got? Oh, we actually do uh, have the world map here. I guess we're right by... Uh, yeah, Talpar Rest Area. I just hope I don't have to fight those curls again. Not with Gladio alone. Holy cow, that would be hard. And one thing to keep in mind with Gladio's HP, that does not regenerate over time like it does in the main game there. So you want to keep an eye on that. All right, I've got this. No turning back now. Well, let's find the Blade Master around here somewhere. I may not know where absolutely every single little nitpicking treasure is in this since I don't have access to a map of this place but I will try taking a look around as I go what 
I didn't remember this place when we came by last time. They're alive. Not for long. Well, they're undead, looks like it. Whoa! Have you come to find your might? That's the idea. One of men who haunt these grounds, following our leader in death as in life. Not what our souls remain, clinging to the vestiges of our past. Oh. Why? To test those determined to become the King's shield and prepare them to inherit the power they pursue. Well, I suppose we're the Master's men have set. sworn their loyalty both before and beyond the grave, scaring off the unworthy. We may better prepare for disappointment. That'll scare easy. <laughs> well, let's see what we can do here. Okay. You can blindside enemies if you're Once if you actually get behind them. But there's no such thing like uh what is it? Uh, what is it? like parry link strikes, but you can do a blindside link strike with Gladio and uh, Core there. So I'll see what we can do. But these guys are pretty fast. It would be pretty hard to uh, blindside these guys. Haha! -ha! See any treasures around here? I missed. I don't think so. Oh, we're good. So yeah, not a whole lot of exploration we can really do. We just got long, narrow hallways. And hidden loading screens. Ah, there's one. Yeah, most of what you're going to get here, actually I think all of it, is just healing items. Goes down. And they're going to be much more valuable here than the main game. Since, yeah, you see, we're not regenerating HP automatically. Whoa! He ain't going down without a fight. Well, you can't fight in the air with Gladio. Haha! -ha! Yeah, you see how blocking that? Like, really increased my rage there. Hey! -hey! Got it! Yeah, one thing I found out when I was doing my, uh, a little practice was that if you haven't done a Link Strike with Core, you can get an achievement for that here, too. Whoa! So let's see, we're a bit below half health, so that's when you want to use a potion. Let's see if I can get my, uh, rage built up again. And also, unlike the main game, there is no cooldown on on blindside link strikes. You can just do them over and over and over again. And yeah, I guess you have to perform a few link strikes with core to get that achievement to happen. But with Noctis, you don't have many opportunities for that, I guess. You come to prove yourself worthy of my mantle. How's it going? I do. I am here to undertake the trial of Gilgamesh. And what is it you hope to glean? Power. Power. And you're going to give it to me. Not sure how that works, but is okay. That so? Ready or Whoa! Not. Now, let's see what we can do against this guy. Block what I can against him. Yeah, Gilgamesh attacks pretty quickly here. Whoa. Yeah, I can't even block a lot of his attacks there either. Let's see what we can do there. Brute force alone does little to impress. Only he who possesses both muscle and metal of equal caliber deserves the honor of fighting beside the chosen king as his sworn shield. You're what? saying I don't? A great evil threatens the people of your world. It is but the king of kings and his shield who can safeguard their lives. 
That's the idea. All those unworthy or unwilling to rise to the task meet their end here by my blade. I ain't meeting mine anytime soon. This trial hasn't even begun. If you do not fear death, then go forth with reckless abandon and prove your worth. Where are you going? I thought we were gonna trial here or something. You are ready for this. In that case, let the trials begin. Ah, oh, hey, it's a blade something. master. He's a master of blades. What? Are you expecting something profound? <laughs> um, I, I guess not. So, what if people come here without, like, being part of Lucis or the King's Shield or whatever we got going on? I don't think you can fall down there. Nah. Now nah, we gotta go through the door over there eventually, but let's take a look around. We don't have very much in the way of exploration in general. I thought there was another one around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Okay. Okay, I think that's ev Oh, no, there that isn't everything. Okay, now I think that's everything around here. Alright, continuing onward then. See, is there something around... No, I'm thinking of something else. There's another area where you can... Where the path splits up. And it's a little tricky to know which way you're supposed to go first. But there isn't much in the way of, like, branching paths or anything. Especially compared to the other episodes. Yeah, the other ones are a bit longer than this one. And they're all they all got a lot of story involved to them, especially compared to the the main game itself. So yeah, why don't we rest up here? Might as well take a break. And I think that would restore all my HP. Of course we have cup noodles. I wonder if Chorus is hardcore of a fan of the cup noodles as Gladio is. Maybe he just takes whatever he can get. The Blade Master isn't here to train you. He's here to test you. He won't go easy on you just because you joined the Crown's Guard. Uh -huh. So, no mercy for newbies like me. Well, what else happens here? So, what? The weak aren't worthy of serving as shield? In his eyes, the weak aren't worthy of living. What? All of them are fools, punished for aspiring beyond their station. I was a fool back then, too. And I was punished. You're alive, aren't you? But you weren't killed. Maybe you weren't worthy of serving a shield. But he must have seen you as worthy of living. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Good thing he did. But can we pass let's the first go. trial of Gilgamesh? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.